So hi plant friends, welcome back to our channel. This is Feli and today we'll be talking about houseplant pest. So while I was doing my routine check, I saw some mealybugs in my hinder room. I was very, I have been very careful with my plants because I love my plants. We all do love our plants. But even though how careful we are, houseplant pests can still infest our plants. So this houseplant pest is something we have to deal with as a plant parent. So it gave me an idea that with my background in entomology and of course my love of plants that will make a segment here in our channel talking about houseplant pest. So here it goes. Houseplant pest 101 with millibugs. So let's start with Millibug. Millibugs are soft, oval, waxy insects. I know this may sound weird, but I find them cute. But they're a nasty pest. They are a serious pest that we don't want in any of our plants. Millibugs suck um, plant sap. So they take out the juices of their plant and then eventually with um, large infestation, our plants may die. They usually feed on hoyas, jade plants, cacti, but because they have a wide host range, they can feed in almost anything. So sad to say that's the truth. It can feed almost in anything. So, when you spot an egg, it has also that waxy, cottony thing. And when the egg emerges, the crawler or the immature ones, they are less waxy compared to the adults. And they're the ones who usually transfer from one feeding site to another feeding site. Or from one host to another. And then when they start feeding, when they anchor their stylet, I don't know if you observe that every time you pull a millibug, there's somewhat a thread-like thing from their mouth. That is their stylet. That's where they poke into the plant and starts feeding. So as they start feeding, they develop more wax. And then depending on the species, some even develop filaments around um, the body or just a long filament at the bottom end. So yeah, it depends with the species. So this is what the millibug looks like. So underneath, that is a millibug. So it was underneath. our plants. For Hindu rope it's quite difficult because they are enclosed and I think that's also the reason why millibugs like the Hindu rope. So what are the indications? What are the things to look for? to tell if there's a millibug infestation. Of course, there's the very obvious waxy or cottony substances in the crevices or in the surface or underneath the leaves. And then there's the presence of sooty mold. Sooty mold is actually just the secondary infection caused by the millibugs because millibugs produce honeydews which sooty molds feed. So every time there's millibugs, most likely there will be sooty molds. And of course, there's that wilting and yellowing of your plants. So how to control them? I use physical and mechanical control in controlling my millibugs. So what I will do, I'll just See, break it. 
they'll be just try to remove it see that's their webbing that's their webbing so after physically removing it through a toothpick I followed by using 70% alcohol in killing the rest of the mealybugs and as well as cleaning the foliage. So removing the webbing and then the sooty molds. Don't use probably above 70% and try to test it first in a small part of the leaf before you apply alcohol because some plants may be sensitive so you just have to use a lesser concentrate of alcohol control of millibugs. Next is the biological control. So here in New Zealand, we have the millibug ladybird. It's a biocontrol agent that was readily imported from Australia to feed on millibugs. So both the adult and the larva of this beetle feeds on millibugs. In fact, the larva of this bee can feed around 250 small millibugs before it pupates. So they're really effective against millibugs. And of course, there's this generalist predator called the green lacewing. But of course, it depends on your preference. If you want to introduce some beneficial insects into your home and another one is the neem oil i actually haven't tried neem oil but they are said to be effective against millibugs but you have to do frequent application compared to the chemical control the chemical control i'm sure there's a few registered chemicals against millibugs i still prefer um, of course, routine check while there's still very few millibugs, very still low infestation, and then just directly picking it. So, I hope you've learned something till the next segment of Houseplant Pest 101. Thanks for watching.